no, 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 they are, the, the boys at Bletchley asked for a bit of aerial reconnaissance, you know. What? Oh no, don't worry, it's on autopilot, nothing to worry about. I know, marvellous, isn't it? Absolutely marvellous. No expense has been spared on the special effect. Anyway, aerial reconnaissance. I think the main thing we're observing at the moment is, really, before the election started, there was real hope that there would be a, a change as a result of the, uh, the thing. Oh, so, so a bit of flapping rubbish there. Um, bit of hope, but uh, really, I think the expectation is now that things aren't really going to change. I think the, the other thing we're really noticing from, from this altitude is that there's a real focus on personal expectation. That's for the voters, they're focusing on what, what's it going to do for them, what the, what the politicians can do for them. And even for the politicians themselves, they're not really focusing on the collective good. All right, sorry, a bit bumpy. Um, uh, there's a, a comment in particular by uh, one of the minority parties that they actually wanted a hung parliament. It was no good for the country, but it was particularly because it was going to support their personal agenda. So, uh, no, no. It, 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 it's not an entirely sort of uh, not an entirely a positive outlook from up here either. So, but uh, as to where it's going, now we're just coming over. Yeah, we're just coming over Workington now, which was the the main thrust. Workington man, how would he vote? And even Workington man is basically saying that uh, even if they're lifelong Labour voters, are probably not going to feel a bit disenfranchised, and that um, uh, they they fully expect a Conservative majority. But we'll just have to see. Oh, anyway, look, gonna have to get back to it because we're going into a bit of turbulence here. So buckle up, speak to you soon. Chuff, chuff.